believe it or not, I went to body school. I am filthy right now. Um, I was a certified painter in the past and a body man in the past. I went to Black River Technical Institute in Pocahontas, Arkansas for my uh, certification and then I never did anything with it because I didn't really care for body work too much. So this is the start of me fixing what the, the rust spots so I cut everything out as much as I could, and then I used a little soda blaster, and I blasted the pitting out of the metal. And then I took fiberglass reinforced mesh and put back behind it and sucked it up to the metal, and then I bondoed real lightly over it so there's barely anything there. And, uh, yeah, it's, it held pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is keep working it down, filling in any low spots, and get a nice finish get it nice and smooth it doesn't have to be perfect but I don't want it all rusted out and uh, yeah should be good all right I sanded it down and I got one more last light coat going over it that I'm gonna clean up I've had to fill in a couple low spots I was trying to get it nice and straight now I've got it pretty straight now I can form it over here I've got this spot pretty much done I need to treat it uh, with an etching primer and I'm gonna go back over it again one more time get off get out some of the, the on the edges there's a little bit of rust that I didn't get I gotta kind of sand that out some and then I'm gonna prime that spot as well but it was rusted out right here I've got this side in primer now I got one little spot I gotta touch up but it'll be alright it ain't gotta be perfect it's just gotta be close and uh, we'll see I got that touched up. Now I'm going to move over to the other side and start block sanding it back down again. It's starting to get dark. I at least want to get it in primer before morning. All right, this side is done. A couple little spots that I could touch up better, but again, I'm not trying to make this perfect. Uh, now I'm going to take this off, clean it, and I'm going to hit it with its first coat of primer. The first coat of primer is on. I'm going to peel this tape back. Give you guys a... Uh, I'm using a 2K urethane. I think it's called, yeah, 2K, 2K urethane. I like the way it sets up. Some people would probably use lacquer, but I don't know what's underneath this. So urethane I thought would be my best bet. But I could be wrong. Um, I'm hoping it... I'm hoping everything sticks and, and stays, and then... Now I'm, I'll go ahead and, when, once this dries, I'll go ahead and block sand all that down. And where that was just all one big giant open rust spot, it's gone now. And if you ask me what I'm using, I'm using a cheap... I've had very good luck with this company before. Um, high volume, low pressure set up off of Amazon I think you can get it for like less than 75 bucks and it comes with a big gun and a small gun so I'll block that primer down tomorrow it's almost the same color as the Arctic white it looks good I'll get it blocked down tomorrow and then retape back off and then I'll paint it Arctic Arctic white tomorrow after I do everything well I don't know about y'all, but I'm okay with that. I hope y'all have a blessed night. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I couldn't walk away. I had to at least go as far as I could tonight. So I wanted to at least get one coat of paint on it. So I got one coat of Arctic White on it. And I'm going to do one more before I go to bed. And in the morning, I'm going to wet sand it and get some of the imperfections out. And uh, probably hit it with some clear. I gotta come over here and get this side rocking and rolling, get it all cleaned off and uh, ready to paint. There you go. I'll clean up that edge so there's a little bit more of a gap there. And that corner needs to be tucked back in. I'll wet sand all this tomorrow. This is uh, three coats. One coat just over the area, the second coat kind of stepping out a little bit more, and the third coat coming up into the rest of the body trying to fan it just a hair and blend it. But for our driveway. 
That ain't bad for a quick driveway job, just a couple hours out here. This turned out pretty good over here too. We did the same thing. And tomorrow I'll wash it all down, clean it, shoot a little clear on it, and be done. Clean up this little gap right here. So I got one little spot right there. I ain't worried about that. Sealed, it's done. I'm cleaning up, going in the house. Y'all be blessed. Take care. Uh, just trying to bring you some different content, something you ain't seen yet. I'm using a uh, U-Pull Fantastic Professional Body Fill. I am also using a Amazon Spray uh, HVLP kit. Wonderful, big gun, small gun in the kit. It's like 75 bucks and it shoots absolutely amazing for simple jobs and stuff like that, touch-up jobs. And I am using a block sanders and a Harbor Freight McGriffin DA. McGraw. Harbor Freight McGraw DA. And that's it. It's working out pretty good. Oh, the, the paint is... Or no, the primer. Where's the primer? The primer is this all-in-one 2K primer 777. It's mixed four to one with the hardener. The hardener comes with it. Found that on Amazon too. Good stuff. And then this is the Arctic White that these GMs are. From R&E Paint Supply. I got a quart of it. Arctic White. Also found that on Amazon. So yeah. Uh, I'll close it out. Y'all have a great night.